The National Judicial Council, at its 106th meeting presided over by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, has recommended Justice Kudirat Kekireakun to President Bola Tinubu for appointment as the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Justice Ariwola will be retiring on the 22nd of August after the attainment of 70 years. TVC News senior reporter takes a look at the process of nomination of a Chief Justice, its long-standing tradition, and who will fill the shoes of Justice Ariwola. It is a common saying in law that there must not be a vacuum. As one Chief Justice of Nigeria leaves, another is recommended and nominated. <laughs> Justice Olukayo de Ariwola was born on 22nd August 1954. On 22nd November 2011, he was appointed to the bench of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. I will not do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and be a true allegiance. He was appointed substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria on 27th July 2022, following the resignation of Chief Justice Tanko Mohammed, as he then was, and formally confirmed Chief Justice by the Nigerian Senate on 21st September 2022. The tradition has always been the second in line with succeed the outgoing CJN. There has never been an upset when it comes to succession to the office of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. The Federal Judicial Service Commission will nominate two names to the National Judicial Council for recommendation to the President. The names will be placed under priority and reserved. The priority will be the name of the second person in line, while the reserved will be the third person in line. The most preferred candidate is placed under priority, and if there is a reason why such a candidate cannot be recommended, the reserved candidate will then be considered. In this case, Justice Kudirat Kekereakun is the second in line among the justices of the Supreme Court to succeed Justice Olukayode Ariwola. Her name will be placed in priority while the third in line, Justice Iyang John Okoro, will be placed on reserved. The committee responsible for screening and recommendation of judges is chaired by the second in line. In this instance, Justice Kekereakun, being the second in line, cannot chair the committee that would oversee her screening. The chairmanship position moves to the third in line. Justice Iyang John Okuru, who will also be screened, cannot also chair the committee as he is a reserve candidate. The chairmanship position then goes to the third in line, which is Justice Uwani Musa Abaji. If this age-long tradition is followed, Justice Kudirat Kekereku will become the next Chief Justice of Nigeria and the second female Chief Justice Nigeria will have after Justice Aluma Moria Muta. The first female Chief Justice of Nigeria was sworn in on 16th July 2012 by former President Kulok Jonathan as the 13th Indigenous Chief Justice of Nigeria and conferred on her Nigerian National Honor of the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. She was the Chief Justice of Nigeria from July 2012 to November 2014. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.